In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly wrap some text around a circle using Adobe Illustrator. All you need to do is jump over to Illustrator and make yourself a new document. And from your toolbox, head down one, two, three, four, five tools and find the rectangle tool. Hold your left mouse button down on that tool and you'll see that the menu expands. I want you to choose the ellipse tool. That's going to allow us to draw a circle on the page. Now, before you draw your circle, make sure you've got a color for your circle chosen from your properties panel over here that is nice and bright. It's going to stand out on your background so you can see it easily. It doesn't matter what color you choose for now. So I've got this bright pink. If you can't see the properties panel, just go to your window menu and select properties. Again, hold shift and simply draw yourself a circle across the page. Not too big, not too small. Okay, now once you've got this circle, you can grab your black selection tool here and just move it around. Um, and what we want to do now is make some text actually wrap around this circle. It's going to follow the path or the shape of this circle. And the easy way to do that in Illustrator is simply go down to your type tool here, the letter T. Again, hold your left mouse button down on that um, symbol and choose type on a path tool from the expanded menu. And all you need to do now is hover over the circle's border and you'll see that the little, oh, it's a bit hard to see because I've got a pink circle. Let me just change the color of that to say blue. As I hover over the edge of that circle, some pink writing appears that says path. Okay. And that just means we've selected the path. And if we click on it now, okay, the circle disappears and some text appears in its place and it's wrapping around that circle. So what you need to do is add in the text that you would like to write. So I'm going to add in wrap text. You can highlight it. Change the fill color to whatever color you want. Uh, you can change the font down here. You can change the size. You can change a bit of tracking, which is the space between the letters. Okay, just something like that will look pretty decent, I think. Um, I might leave it as is. Then when you're finished, grab your selection tool and click off everything and have a look at it. And you can see that your text now is following the shape of that circle. It doesn't look that flush though, because it's not quite centered. So if you want to move your text, all you need to do using that black arrow tool still, your selection tool. Click on the text. You'll notice that a few blue lines appear. We've got these ones at the start and this one at the end. We're just going to focus on this one at the end. All you need to do is click on it and just slowly drag it around the circle, just, just gently. If you go too far, you'll end up doing what I'm doing and you're going to get it going all over the place. Okay, so just do it in little increments at a time. I'd recommend doing it very small increments. Uh, let me just have a look at where that blue lever's gone. There. So that is roughly centered at the top of the circle. Okay, it can be a little bit fiddly at times, but that's the top of our circle done. We've got the text wrapping around it quite nicely. But what if we want to get the text wrapping around the bottom of the circle as well? always confuses people this step, but it's actually quite easy. With your selection tool, all you need to do is click on your text and copy and paste it. So copy, and I'm going to go paste in place. So that means it's just going to paste a copy of this text straight on top of the original text. I'm going to change the color of this new text to pink or magenta. And with it still selected, I'm going to go up to my type menu at the top and go type on a path and then type on a path options. From here, turn on your preview box so you can see what's going to happen. Simply flip that text around and it places it down the bottom of the circle. Click OK. If you'd like, highlight that text, play around with it a little bit. I might make it just a little bit smaller and write the words around, whoops, around a circle. And I'm going to make that a little bit smaller again and maybe just drop the tracking down a little bit as well. Something like that will look all right. Using my arrow tool now, I can just pull that around a bit. So it's somewhat, oh, here we go, somewhat centered. Okay, so that looks okay. To make it look better though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the top text to begin with and go to back to that type menu, type on a path and back to the options. Turn the preview box on again, and we're going to align the path here instead of to the baseline, to the center of that circle. So you can see the text wraps through the center of that circle now. Click OK. Do the same for the pink text at the bottom. So just go back to that type on a path options and change that align to path to center and click OK. 
I just find that makes it look a little bit more circular, if that's a word. It looks a little bit nicer if you wrap that text straight through the middle of the circle path. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We've now got our text wrapped around a circle. If you want to make it look a little bit better, you could go and grab your ellipse tool here again. Okay, change the fill color to nothing. Let's change the stroke color to a nice bright yellow, and we're going to draw ourselves a circle that comes out about there. I'm just going to turn the stroke up a bit. Let's go to about 20. Oops, that looks pretty good. I might draw one more circle here. This time the color can be, let's say, green. And again, I'm just going to start from that center point and just drag out a circle. Something like that. I think the stroke's a bit thick, so I might make that a bit skinnier. And I might even click on the word stroke here and make a dashed line for my um, border. Oops. Okay, grab your black arrow, and we are done. But it looks a bit untidy because it's not all perfectly aligned. So all I'm going to do now is just highlight everything on the page. In my align section here, I'm just going to hit this first option and make sure I'm aligning to the artboard. And I'm going to horizontally align the center of all the shapes and also vertically align the center of all the shapes. And that puts everything smack bang in the center of the page. From there, it's just up to you if you want to nudge some of these around using the arrow keys to try and make them look that little bit better. Okay, but I think that looks pretty good as is. So that's a quick tutorial on how to wrap text around a circle using Adobe Illustrator.